Welcome. This is the review for placement test one. You should be watching this just prior to taking the first placement test on mymathtest.com. All right. A simply simple multiply, divide, add, and subtract. You will be asked to do this. Number one, use a four function calculator. It will help. Remember 28 times 14, oops, I'm sorry, doesn't matter, uh, I need my, I need to turn on my pen, that's what I needed to do, there we go, so 28 times 14, we just put it in our calculator, 392. 65 divided by 7 is 9.2857. Now, if they want the remainder for that, this is going to be 9 with a remainder of, we simply take the decimal portion and multiply it by the 7. So what I'm going to do in my calculator, I subtract the 9 off, and now I do a times seven and I get two. So the remainder is two. So depending on what kind of answer they want, simplify a fraction. So use prime factorization, factor the numerator and the denominator. So that's what this example is down here. Cross off any common factors. So you can see we've crossed off the twos right here. One, two. And we're left with 16 over 3. That is the simplified fraction. So that would be your answer. All right, fractions. We have a numerator on top and the denominator on the bottom. So to add or subtract fractions, if you have the same denominator, notice here 5 and 5, add your numerator. You just add your numerator, right? So it's 3 plus 7 the two numerators, over this common denominator. 3 plus 7 is 10. Now we simplify. 10, there are two 5s in a 10, so it becomes 2. And so my final answer would be 2. Not 2 over 1, but 2. Okay, so different denominators. This is where we have to do our common denominator. So the easiest way to do that is you take the denominator of 1 and you multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator by that of the first term. Okay? Then you take the numerator, the denominator of the first one and multiply the second one by 6 over 6. Okay? That's what you're seeing here. 5 times 5, 3 times 6 over my common denominator. That gives me 25 minus 18 over 30. 25 minus 18 is 7. 7 over 30, there's nothing in common there because 7 is prime. So I'm done, and that's my answer. All right, now when you multiply, remember you multiply straight across. So it's going to be 5 times 3 and 6 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 5 is 30. But they do have something in common. 15. 30 is 15 times 2. So we we uh, factor it. We can cross off the common 15s, and we're left with an answer of 1 half. All right. Now, to divide, simply flip and multiply. So if you have something, I'm sorry, I'm laying it flatter so I can write at the bottom of the screen. If you have something like uh, 3 fifths, over 7 eighths. We're going to take this denominator and flip it upside down. Instead of 7 eighths, it's going to become 8 sevenths. So that's going to give me 3 six times now 8 sevenths. And now you multiply just like you did up there. Okay? I said 3 fifths, not 6. So that's supposed to be a 5. All right, so now you've just you just multiply. 3 times 8 is 24. 
5 times 7 is 35, and i am got my answer, okay? So just flip and multiply if you're dividing fractions. Okay, negative signs and subtractions. Remember, subtractions are really plussing the opposite of whatever you think you're subtracting. Okay, subtraction is really just adding the opposite. So a 2 minus 3 becomes 2 plus a negative 3. So one of the first things you do is you convert all your subtractions to adding the opposite. When adding, if the signs are the same, then the numbers, then add the numbers. Okay, so if signs same, add, use original sign. If the signs are different, subtract and use the sign of the larger. Okay, that's how you add and subtract with negatives. It'll make it much easier for you. When multiplying or dividing, if the signs are the same, signs same, positive. Signs different, then the answer is negative. Signs same, positive. Signs different, negative. Okay, this is a way to remember. All right, now we're going to talk about negatives for a minute. When adding, sign same, add, and use original sign. Signs different, subtract, and use sign of larger. When multiplying or dividing, signs same, then positive, signs different, negative. Okay, these are the little sayings we have to help us remember that. All right, now we're going to talk about long division. Okay, this one's a pain, I know. So if you're given something like 23 or sorry, 370 divided by 23. I'm just going to go over long division, okay? So how many 23s go into 37? The answer is 1. All right, now, 1 times 23 is negative tw is 23, and we subtract. So 37 minus 23, we get 1, we get 14, and we bring down the 0. All right, how many times does 23 go into 140? You can use your calculator to figure that out. The answer is 6. 6 times 23 is 38. Subtract, and you get 2. So your final answer is 16 with a remainder of 2. All right, we're going to do one more just, just for practice. All right, 34, so 820 divided by 34. 34 goes into 82 twice. You get 68, you subtract, it's 140, again, 14, bring down the zero, 140. 34 goes into 140 20, uh, four times. Four times 34 is 136. Okay, so four times 34 is 136. Subtract, we get a four, that's my remainder. So now my answer is 24, remainder four. Okay, so hopefully you remember some long division. Now we also have something called the order of operations that will be tested in this particular test. It's called GEMDAS. Some of you might have learned it as PEMDAS, but we mathematicians got together and decided that wasn't specific enough. It wasn't broad enough, actually. All right, they stand for grouping, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. This is the order starting with the first all the way down. Okay, so the first time through you do any groupings, which means parentheses, fractions, right? So if I have two plus, sorry, two plus five over three minus seven, you do this, you do not do these, okay? Your first is to do your groups, which are automatically your numerator or your denominator. Same with things like with a square root. If I have a square root of x squared plus 4, I have to add these together before I can take the square root. Many students would look at that and think it was x plus 2. It is not. Does not work. Plug in some numbers, you'll find it does not work. So, grouping. You must do all groupings first. Exponents. Anything with an exponent is next. Okay, so if you had a 3 squared or a 4 squared, but if you had a 2x plus 7 squared, you have to deal with that squared first. You simplify what's inside, that's your grouping, and then you 
do the square. Okay, multiplication, division. These are actually, I'm going to erase some of those scribbles that, so you can see. Um, there we go. Multiplication and division. All right, uh, these are actually the same level. You complete them as you read the equation from left to right. Okay, addition and subtraction, like multiplication and division, are actually at the same level as each other. So you'll go through and do all your multiplications and divisions in a left to right manner. Then you'll go through and do all your addition and subtractions in a left to right manner. So things like 5 minus 2 times 6 plus 4 divide 3 plus 2, okay? You can't do 5 minus 2. You have to do the, sub, the multiplication and this division first. You have to do these, these two sections first. And what we're going to do is make sure we remember that that's actually a negative 2. So, minus 2 times 6 is a negative 12. So I have 5 minus 12 plus 4 thirds. You know what? I'm going to make this math just a smidge easier. We're going to make that a 2. Okay, so that means that 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 2. Okay, so 5 minus 12 is a negative 7 plus the two 4s. Those I can do in any order. Now, uh, let's see, plus the two 4s, minus 7 plus 4 is a negative 3 which would be very different if I did this first, right? Because this whole section ended up negative seven. If I did the five minus, I get three times six is 18. So I'd get a negative 18 instead of a negative seven. So see, it would come out very differently. So you have to obey the order of operations. All right, we're gonna do some more examples here just so you can see. All right, if I was given this big long thing to simplify, grouping first, so I would have to do this 4 plus 6 so I've got a negative 5 plus 2 times the 4 plus 6 is 10 minus 9 and what I did is I also converted all the plus the subtractions to plus negatives that helps me be able to move things around all right grouping exponent so I converted the 3 squared Next is multiplication division. So I did this multiplication and I would do this division. So that's where I got the 20 and the negative three. Now I would do all my adds and subtracts. So I would end up with, let's see, that's 26 minus one is 25. There we go. Okay, here's another one. Now, I have a different kind of exponent. So in my next pass, all right, so now I have 2 times 3 plus 4 is 7. So 2 times 7 squared plus, okay, let me see what this is. 7 minus, yes, 7 minus 5 is 2, and then I applied that negative to it, so that's why it's a negative 2. Divide 2 plus 2. Now I would take care of the exponent, so that's this bit. Well, since this did not interfere at all with this one, I went ahead and did that division. I'm going to do this multiplication, and now I can do all my adding of my numbers. All right, and then my, uh, which is, makes me 99.